Well, for every burning the face, so good for uh, stimulating collagen production um, and just, uh, yeah, helping with blood flow. But as we do each of the different points, uh, they come into different parts of your body, organs of your body. Uh, so it's just helping to send good energy flow around around your body, you know. Um, yeah, there are parts of your face that correspond to heart, lungs, stomach, kidneys, everything. I Forgive me if I don't have complete knowledge of every single point, um, but I, I try. I'll give you as much information as I can without sort of overloading the information. Um, and then we'll, after we've done the acupressure points on the face, we'll do pain massage. And then as I said, we'll do a bit around the neck, massage, uh, uh, lymphatic drainage sort of thing. And then we'll do acupressure points a little bit on the body. And then we'll do acupressure points on the feet and a bit of reflexology and foot massage. And we'll try to keep it sort of simple. <laughs> okay, so. If, you, if you're using uh, oil or uh, moisturizer, you actually wait. Let's hold up the moisturizer for now. We'll use that for the massage. We'll, uh, for the points of the um, face, we're just going to use singular points. So we won't, we won't oil up too much. <laughs> We've all got loads of oil. I did that last time as well. Yeah. So, but like um, the game to start telling us not to have oil. Oh, I think like, put the oil on. When you do your thing, Marcus, I'll be on you, yeah? <laughs> like a tiger. Oh, don't worry. Okay, so we'll, we'll, start, we'll start with this point here, which is uh, corresponding to kidneys and bladder, I do believe. And also, if you have a tendency to uh, get any lungs or wrinkles, it could happen. You're just helping to iron that out anyway. So you can massage the point or you can just press, okay? You want to give a good bit of pressure, but you want to, want to be comfortable so it's not, um, um, it's not painful or uncomfortable or anything. And then we move to um, the colon point here. And this will also help with, um, you know, after, after the years go by, the face can sometimes start to drop a little bit, these muscles. So this will also help to stop that from happening <laughs> slow it down and then we'll move to uh jaw and we can just do a massage there for tension release sometimes the jaw can be a a, a source of a uh, place of tension you can clench your teeth sometimes when you sleep and so on. So we just rub a little bit there. Now we come into the corners of the mouth and we press in. And again, if you want to, you can massage. On the corners of the mouth, Marcus. He's doing his own thing. And then we come into the spleen point here, which is also energizing. So don't do this before you sleep. It's just under the nose, a little bit down, maybe a third of the way or halfway down. And you can massage there as well. If ever you're feeling tired in the day and you need to focus, you need a bit of energy, this is a good point here. And then we move to the sinus point. And there's also, this is the lung area. And you've got your scissors here. So again, you can go in just on either side of the nostril and you can do a little massage there. So if, if you suffer from uh, blocked sinuses, this will be very helpful as well. <laughs> right on the sides of the nostril there. And then we move slightly out just to there. So slightly out and you continue. And you can see how it brings the, the blood to your face. So again, stimulating. You can see how it brings all the veins up. And then we come to the, the cheekbone. So directly under the cheekbone, you, you've got the pupils of your eyes and you want to be directly in line with the pupils underneath. Is that Okay, so directly under the bone, lining up with your pupils. And again, also a sinus point and you can massage there. 
Okay, so under the bone, yeah? Under the bone. It's where it goes in. Okay, and then we go, where do we go from there? We can go, oh, we can do this point here on this side, but the pause. You're a bit high, Jonathan. You're, you're a bit there. Can you see it's just by, by your eyes and there. Yeah. Yeah, your glasses would, would line up. And then we can do uh, the third eye point. Again, this is very good for if you get any headaches, migraines, or just really, um, if you just want a little bit of clarity, focus. And, and you can go one way and then you can circle the other way as well. And that's your third eye, Marcus, you're a bit high. Yeah. And then there's this point here. So this is good for any, if you if you have any lines here, but um, so it will just give energy and help to smooth the forehead. And you've got another point here. And I don't know which one this is, what organ it corresponds to. If you just massage that one there. Actually, I'll, I'll look on my little face map and see what, what we have there. Um, so that would be bladder, gallbladder, uh, bladder and gallbladder points around here as well. Okay, now we can point on the eyes. So this is good for your eyes. It's also good if you get any dark circles on eyes as well. And so it's good for your vision, puffy eyes, anything like that, okay? So we start at the inner corner, so where your eyebrow begins, and you can just massage that point there. And this also corresponds to your kidneys as well. And then we're going to go along the eyebrow, so we go a little bit further, a little bit further along. And again, you go a little bit further along. So it goes from, from the kidneys to the liver in the middle. And then when you get to the middle of your eyebrow, again, you've got a point there. And then you make your way to the, uh, to the end of the eyebrow. And there's one there. And now we come to um, to this one here. Sorry, I've got makeup on still as well. Uh, so you can see it's around about there. You can see where it is in relation to my eyes. And again, you've got stomach, uh, kidney, and liver points here. And again, this will also help if you get any crow's feet, you know, if you're developing any lines as well. And then we'll move into another um, point over here, which is stomach there. And it's also uh, lining up with the heart point there. Or the heart area. And then we come into the inner corners of the eye. I think this is a bladder point as well, but this is also very good for your eyes in general. Um, it's good for your vision as well as um, you know, detoxing uh, dark circles and so on as well. Okay, and I think we've done all the points on the face that uh, that I wanted to do. Yeah, I think we, oh, we can do a little bit on, on the lips as well, because you've got, um, and also this will help again, if you're getting any lines here, or, or uh, again with collagen boosting, and it corresponds to uh, stomach and intestines. I'm reading that. <laughs> what about the lymph nodes? Uh, lymph is well, like we'll do the lymph drainage and that when we're doing the um, 
the massage, which we're going to do now. Okay, so this is where we can put some cream or, or face oil on. You don't have to use any, I mean, you can do a sort of dry massage, but don't sort of, you know, sometimes it's better to have that little bit of slipping. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the massage. So just follow as, as you go, as, as I go along, just follow. Um, so we'll start coming up this, from the jawline upwards. And then we'll do this one a little bit closer to the to the to the in to the mouth you could say come up and round and sweep up to the temples like that it really just gives you a nice feeling of well-being there I feel <laughs> <laughs> now you need to cry too much. <laughs> it's so funny, Oh, <laughs> hey. Okay, and then we can do this also for, again, for the jawline and for lymphatic drainage. So you can just make your fingers like that, and then you can just sweep along. <laughs> okay, um, what else? Oh, we'll do a little bit, just so we don't leave the nose out. I always like to do a little bit along the nose. It's amazing. Oh, wow. And then we're going to sweep up the nose like that as we come towards the forehead. And then if you just follow. <laughs> it's good for comedy comedy value isn't it and then we can just take the fingers and uh, you can just do some of these okay and then we do some of this. <laughs> and we'll come back to some of that. And then we'll just sweep down, down and down. And then we'll do the neck. So you can just do circular. I didn't say anything. <laughs> and then you can just give little pinches to stimulate collagen. And then just find the back of the neck, you can just sort of sweep down. So you can press in quite a bit, and you can even go along height by the ears and then just dragging down.
and then we'll just add in this little bit gateway to consciousness right this this mm -hmm. behind your skull at the bottom of your skull you feel where it goes in that little indentation on either side and we'll just give a massage there right you can feel where it goes inwards and you can give a nice strong massage there so this is great for oh so many things for your whole head area really and stress levels as well and then you can just sweep down down and then we'll take our hands and we're just going to go this way and down and then we just go across to finish off and there we are with that bit okay so we're going to do a few pressure points on the body i won't do as many as i last time because i think it was a bit of an overload and then we'll work our way down to the feet we'll finish off the feet so again uh, those of you who are here last time um, i showed you this point here is where your um collar bone is so you want to find not the actual bit of the bone that sticks out but you want to come underneath as it goes into like a valley and you can see the sort of distance between fingers there and you you can rub it there okay so this is very good for your thyroid gland and it's very good for throat lungs and it's excellent for your immune system as well okay so good immune boosting <laughs> pressure you probably can apply a bit more pressure than you on your face maybe okay so you can really get into that point it says right there don't make the massage too wide you want to get right into that little point right and then we go to this one on the hands it's one of the main pressure points on the body is um you probably some of you already know this if you've got your hand you find that between the thumb and the first finger but you come in a little bit and you you get in with your thumb and again you can go quite hard if you find there's any pain there probably means that you need to do this because it could be indicating some sort of blockage okay so this is very very good for headaches it's the main headache and migraine uh, point that you would go for and it's, it's, it's good for so many things. Any kind of pain in the body, uh, it's detoxing, it's regulating the energy in your body. It's, it's such an amazing point that. And you can do it on the other side as well. I think it's called the large intestine uh, point. But it's not just about the large intestine. It's about whole host uh, organs and benefits. So make sure you give that some attention and then we will um we'll come down the body to um this is where it gets harder for me to show you but okay so where your knee is where your knees are you want to go for find your kneecap four fingers underneath your kneecap four fingers and where you put the fourth finger, that's where it's going to be, but not on the bone, but a little finger to the outside of the shin bone. Locate that exact uh, spot and you can get your fingers in any way that works or with your thumbs or whatever. And you give that a good deep massage there. So this is 36 and it's also extremely good for your immune system and also obviously going to help anything stomach related but great my, my acupuncture um acupuncturist told me this is the best point for your immune system as well you can apply a good bit of pressure there and then we'll move, move the feet um so again, I just want to bring up this little map of the feet so I can remind myself what is what. You, and some of the points you've only got on one side, and but we're, we're just going to do both feet together. I think the best thing is to do both feet at the same time. So I'm going to do both feet at the same time, but I'm probably just going to show one. 
and I'll put it something like that. Um, okay, yeah, I think that's going to be the best that I can do. So what do we do here? We'll start with this point here. We'll just massage with the thumb. This is very good for your longevity and for your health. It's such an amazing point. Uh, it corresponds to two different systems. Um, in reflexology, it corresponds to your, your liver, but in acupuncture, it, it corresponds to your uh, kidneys, I do believe. So it's actually covering two different systems here. Going quite deep. And then you can go to the next bit along. So we're coming to the middle of the foot. And again, we can just go around with the thumb. Remember, I'm doing both feet at the same time. So you should also try and do both at the same time. So here, if we just do that wide area all around the middle, we're covering for uh, stomach, pancreas, liver. And if we come a little bit to the to the inside, just do a little bit there. And you can even do sort of coming in and out with the thumb like that. And this is also um, bladder. You've got kidneys coming down to bladder. If you ever have anything like... Um, urinary tract infection this is amazing you can actually almost you can heal yourself within a, a few minutes if you use the points along there <clears throat> and we'll just go to the middle there small intestine here and then we move on to the heel we'll do um sciatic uh sciatic nerve and also the whole pelvis uh, area as well So tonight as we sit here together. We'll go along the outside where we'll just sort of maybe do it a bit like that. And here you're covering spleen and um, uh, descending colon. And I know also that this is also good for uh, your spine as well. So we're going along the outside. Just working our way down towards the heel. And then you can just give you your heel a little bit of a, a rub. And then we're going to cut the balls of the feet. Um, we'll, we'll do the balls of the feet now. We'll just give nice circular movements there. Again, this is great for your lungs, your heart, solar plexus, diaphragm along there at the bottom. Shoulders on the outside. I mean, there's no hard and fast rule about massaging. As long as you're doing circular movements, you're toning all of these areas and uh, helping the energy to flow. Here we move to the neck. This is your neck here, so any tension there, this helps. And along the toes, we're going to do the points, the eyes and the ears. So this is very good for your eyes, anything eye relate under the toes, in the middle there. You can apply some real pressure here if you want. And then this or a little bit further along. So there, that's where you'll get the, the ears. Your sinuses along the toes. We're going to leave the big toe until last, okay? And I'll, I'll tell you why. You can just go along each toe. And then maybe work your way back. And we'll focus a little bit on the large toe. These very important points along here. Uh, you've got neck, sinus, pituitary gland, and this is this corresponds to your brain, the very top. 
So you can actually get it, sight, and give it a little massage there. But this is also excellent if you get migraines or any headaches ever. Uh, anything head related and you can rub the top and then you can come down the sides a little bit squeeze in and honestly if you have a headache it's amazing how quickly this can actually work as well and this is also even good for your immune as well you can just press there and again neck and now just two more points I want to cover is um, we've got um, on the top side of the foot, we've got a liver point here, but it's like there, but a little bit higher. Okay, so you can dig in there with one or two fingers quite hard. And this will help to give you a bit of a liver toning, tox even. You'll find if you, if you ever drink any alcohol, Next morning, if you rub these points, they can be quite tense if you've got a hangover. <laughs> this really helps to detox the liver. It's a really good. Thing. It's one of the main acupressure points on the entire body, and it covers a lot of different areas of well-being. And then finally, um, you've got a large ankle bone on the inside. So you get the size with your thumb. So not where the bone actually is, but on the the back sort of like lining up with the the back of your heel that's where you want it to be in that soft bit just behind where the bone sticks so this is your main kidney point the yin point good for those two points balancing your yang there that we just did and now your yin energy Okay, we'll just finish off with maybe um, scooping the, the, the toes back and then forward. So stretching out the feet a little bit forward, do it slowly and back. Okay, why don't we do one more? Let's go for one more. Three yin crossing. Where the ankle bone is, a little bit further up, about three or four fingers up, not on the bone, but slightly towards the back end of the foot. You can dig in with your thumb. This is a, a three yin crossing, so it's three major points of the body crossing in one place. You've got spleen, spleen and lung kidneys as well. And we'll finish off with this one. Give a good okay, deep breath. So much. We can really feel this one. Oh, yeah. That was actually very good for me, Jay. I must have been a bit stressed. Eh? Yeah. Um, and, and I would suggest that all of you drink water tonight because you've got a lot of energy going now. You might have even released a few emotional or physical blockages. Um, so I definitely, you're going to detox and uh, I would definitely increase your water intake. And I think we're done.